Okay, so welcome back to Thunderscape. Okay, so last time we actually accomplished quite a bit. We managed to uh, finish the whole section with the Vanguard Keep, and defeat the main boss in there, this dark one, and activate the shield on that side of the pass. Our next goal would be to head towards the Radiant Citadel. And but before we do that, we have one more chance to visit the shop in here. And since we have been picking up a lot of just uh, extra gear and whatnot. So it's going to be a good opportunity to kind of do some last minute shopping. Finia leaps from behind the counter to greet you, excitement sparkling in her eyes. Hello, hello, friend. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate to tell me. Well, uh, well, first of all, since the last time we were here, Finna's inventory has changed a bit. For instance, now she's selling this two-handed sword. Remember previously when we visited, kind of the first sword item was this claymore. I think she also has a katana here, and maybe some others that she didn't have before. Including a magical claymore, so if this was your thing, if you had perhaps more members in your team who were using swords, or maybe if you didn't find the thunderclap and you wanted a two-handed magical sword, you could take that. Now she also sells these magical broadswords, which don't do as much damage as the magical long swords, but also magical broad swords do have a uh, uh, lower strength requirement, which means that characters with less strength can still be effective with a magical broad sword. But anyway, uh, let's see. Well, I think we'll keep it keep at least the shield but then small sword small sword is actually the sort of the fencing variant for short sword so it's a also an offhand weapon it does the same amount of damage as a short sword but it also functions uh, but and it also functions as an offhand weapon but instead of using the sword skill, it relies on the fencing skill. But we don't need it. We can also sell the katana, battle axe, falchion, short sword. Oh yes, we we already have the magical short sword, composite bow, definitely. We already have the crystal bow. Just a normal magical long sword. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of this. Yeah, there's, there's not going to be a reason for Konkar to use that ever. Now, Brit's Katana. This one, yes, because it still does that bonus damage to uh, undead, uh, those um, uh, demons. Which, actually, I could have been also used, I could have also used this in the final section of the Vanguard Keep. since it had a plenty of those smoke demons upstairs and the damage might even have applied to the dark one but I don't, I'm not sure okay then just get rid of uh, actually I, I will keep at least one blunt weapon for Delias ring yeah 
the Demon Slayer. Of course, we can have a look at the stats of the Demon Slayer. Okay, so just like quite many others, ma other magical weapons it gives that plus 25 bonus to the skill, does double damage to demonic creatures such as those smoke demons. Does 6 to 21 impale, maximum damage is 26, but the minimum strength is 14. And I believe Philo only has about maybe 10, 11, maybe 12 points in strength, so she would definitely do less than this normal amount of damage with this polearm. But nevertheless, it's most definitely something which is useful to hold on to. Uh, yeah, Bardish handgun. Mm, just a normal stiletto. Reaper would sell for thirty-five thousand seven fifty. Ah, uh, hand cannon. I will actually sell that saber. Yes. Mm. Musket. Well, I mean, I have the magical handgun, so if she's ever going to use a, like a firearm, I would rather have her use a magical one than just a normal one, even though a musket would still do slightly more damage, so. Long spear, yeah, to just keep getting rid of this. Cutlass. Uh, I'll keep one, sure. Extra rapier I can sell. Buckler, yeah, I will sell. Scroll of flash, yes. Two handed sword, magical broadsword, mm, yes. Musket, another one. Oh yeah, the shadow boots. I could re-equip them. Chain coif, battle mace, lightning bolt. Bird has a lot of excess armor. I'll keep one chest, one a uh, chain chest. One chain koi. Actually, I have this one, so. Okay, so yeah, Bird has chain chest. Let's see. We had Blade Pot Helm. I believe there was also the uh, Blade Boots. Ringlet. Yeah, so chain chest. Oh, yeah, there was one more chain chest. Sell the 200 leather chest handgun. And actually, yeah, and then also buy the chain leg. Uh, let's see. No, there's a reason for me doing this, which will become apparent later in the game. But I don't want to spell, spoil anything at this point, so... Okay, right, so we have more than 50,000 gold now. Mm. So now we could already afford the magical battle axe if we wanted one. Mm. Hmm, let's see. Scroll of breathe fire of 5700. Magical scrolls are rather expensive. Um, uh, 
Yeah, I guess we could take one magical battle axe. Yeah, in case. Sure, we'll take one of these. And I think aside from that, we don't really need anything else. We have pretty much anything, everything that we could want. So yeah, I think we'd. I think for now we've we've finished shopping. I hope to see you again soon. Good luck. And may the nocturnals fear your name. Thank you, Fina. All the best. Okay, so time to start making our way. Time to start making our way to, well, ultimately the Radiant Citadel, but for now, our road takes us to this, uh, well, in one of the very first episodes we saw the large doors in here. We didn't have the key to open this to open those doors but now that we come here they're already open so we can proceed into the uh, ogre caves the cavern extends deep into the mountain do you enter the bowels of the mountain or stay of course we'll enter and oh yes new type of enemy Ogre Sentry. Ogres are basically troll plus. They are just a little bit bigger and stronger and tougher than trolls. Unfortunately, there isn't anything special about them. They don't have any nasty special attacks like those raids. Man, this ogre has really been tenacious and just refuses to die. Refuses to get hit. Finally. Okay, Gonkar made it to level 13. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, let's just push, put everything to sword. Sea secrets. Mm, maybe for now we'll actually start improving Gonkar's cast spell skill. Delias, yeah, one point to shield. Rest to axe and mace. Yeah, and absolutely everything to cast spells. Oh, ice missile maybe. Or Spitfire. Maybe Spitfire. Yeah. Seems more appropriate against ogres and that type of enemies. Uh, yeah, she also learns to Spitfire. And think again, fencing. Mm, do I want to improve the knife skill? Probably not. Oh, and then just everything to cast spells, so at least we now unlock a couple more spells for her to learn. Bird, axe and mace, cast spells. Oh, Gonkar just made 
immediately another level. I guess we got so much experience from the last dungeon that we... Hmm, somehow we came really close to leveling. Uh, in fact, I'm not sure what actually... What happened, but... This is something that certainly has happened before. Plenty of times. Okay, we came from there. Let's just have a look around. Small rock. Well, kind of brings back memories of how our friendship with Bert started. We gave him a nice rock. Ogre background. Let's have a read. We ogres have alert to survive on rocks and mush. We are happy because we have nods well to flavor our rocks. In case of trouble, we meet at the well. It's not really an important note, so just drop it. So a little bit of background information for the trolls. Ogre agreement. Another one. We who live below the mighty ogres agree to pay the ogres many, many tasty rocks if the ogres keep squishies from bothering us. Oh, let's... You have spotted a secret door to the south. Potions, cure poison, healing. Let's see. Oh. Spe spear and maul. Maul. Ah, yeah, take the maul for sure. He has spotted the secret door to the north. Plenty of secret doors in here. Some kind of small. And let's explore in here. He has spotted the secret door to the north. Poison, sure. Wires bestiary. Yet another skill book. This one improving xenology skills, so we shall give it to our bona fide xenology expert Delias. Poison dart weapon chest uh, it's just gonna be random some random weapons, so that's not really gonna be of interest. I would rather not clutter my inventory, especially because it's not like you really need to do that to get enough money in this game. I mean, you'll find just just so much of like even just the uh, like various magical items and whatnot that are really valuable and that you don't necessarily need need or don't want for yourself. So if you really need money for something, you can always sell to some of those more valuable items. And again, one of the only things you might think about purchasing, I mean, of course, those occasional, like, magic weapons and whatnot, especially at the beginning of the game. Oh, that's a giant scorpion, another type of enemy. A poisonous one, in fact. So, we'll try to deal with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
exploring. So, presume these are some kind of mining constructions. It's possible like little caves that have been basically like boarded and maybe like reinforced. <laughs> mm. Various potions, so let's just give everyone a potion. Scroll and... Oh, where did you come from? And now Philo gets to level up again. One magic skill and another spell. Mm. Slow. Sure. Ring of Reflexes. Mm. Sure, Conquer. Basically what the Ring of Reflexes does is that it increases your initiative. So, it's gonna help you get the first attack in combat. Magical short, uh, not short sword, but a broad sword. Medicine, potions, money. Oh, there was actually a potion in the corner. Armor, give that to Bert. These little shacks we could explore. <laughs> Cure poison. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll head back to the this region over here. Back to where we came from. Well, just because I do have a, a route in my mind and I want to use. So yeah, ogre caves and more ogres. <laughs> Delias leveled a little bit to shield. All oh, right. Okay, and now we are able to learn. Even Delias gets the raise dead spell. Charm spell. This room is dominated by a large fire pit, still red hot from a fire earlier. Mm. Oh, there it is. There's a a magic ring, Kelvin's ring. Which, by the way, increases your resistance to uh, fire. So, <laughs> very aptly named item. Just take care of this. Ok, 
can't. So, unfortunately, I think I now have to call it quits. But when we return, we shall continue exploring these uh, ogre caves. Okay, see you next time.